I'm in an eye on what's going map. I mean, we're on the middle lane. Well, this is what we'll see. The ice shards coming out because I can get the harass out. Arteezy, long run away. Oh, the stun holds on to it. Arteezy getting pretty low here. The stun, it does hit. And there's your first blood. As it gets shared out. And look at the different oh, kills everywhere in the top <laughs> lane, too. Although. Well, the flat cannons once more working the snowball going in. PPD already level two. Catches up to misery. Gonna be home in place. We'll die off here. See Mel. Just help us to help his comrade then. Free free. Should be able to make it out up against him because the mo Oh no, Arteezy again. Of course, the reason everyone's so hyped up about this match, man. It's all good. Oh, hi cat. He gets caught out by crit here. Crit's gonna find the kill, but he may have to sacrifice his life for it. Yep, trapped in. PBD only call, but the TP out oh, instantly. And now, free free. Needs to run away from Sumail quick. PPD will return. Has to level the sigil. The 1-1-1 one, one, one build for an attempted kill here. No, Sumail is going to catch one of it. Free Free taking too much damage here. Bats up onto them. There's going to be a snowball to control them. Nicely done from PPD. Needs to find a kill. All oh, the axes flow through from Sumail. He finds the kill. And then the return one. As Dude, PPD Peter's picks up misery as fire. well. This guy is getting out of control. And Sumail, you can't escape either. Peter's Dusk, back up he's top. up here again. He's like, yo, let's go. I'm not done. <laughs> yeah. You got Rocket Barrage. Let's see, go. Mel's still young. I've got to teach him some lessons here. Yeah, he's got no TP. I, he did use the flat cannon to try to get the creeps down. And here it comes. Rocket's going out. BBD. Just gets down top of him. There's the move for Rocket Barrage coming out. And Sumel going to get low. Oh, the run from Free Free. It's a party. He says, can I join in? He throws out the axe. He's just trying to farm on the way out. And the way out from here is the hell. Course. We don't see the phase boots so often anymore on the razors. And well, he gets a static link. It's time for him to go to work. Zai, he's trying to force out the Guardian Angel, but Zai's trying to hold off leveling it. He won't have a choice at this rate. Gets a purification out, but oh, there's the use of the Guardian Angel. Clutching it at the end up high. Pycat just trying to chase on the fear here. He's going to salve up, though. He can easily turn around as a result of that. Pycat going to catch up there. Has got the cooldown. He'll be able to kill off fear. No escape for him. And yeah, Crit will continue to just kind of farm oh. his way up there. Sumail. Well, it turned on him in the end. He can't make it out. He's going to die. Tries to fairy fire up to buy the time. Oh, but fear. is he? Oh, he might get out. He's going to get out. Fear comes up. He says, Zai, where the hell have you been? I've been alone in the bottom lane. Gold's important. You can at least put up the bounty before you die. Because they see you. The jumper straight on the stuns there. We're going to be a rock apart. The cooldown. Fear has to back away quickly. See Mel, but he won't make it out. And Fear just lingered around saying, Zai, I love the damage you give me. But the roll through it hits on him. Magnetized there. Purification bomb. And the rocket barrage. And they even use the Guardian Angel just to run away and crit. He needs to get out quick. Can he make it? Yes, he can. They're both rotating down bottom. Go mid. Fight yeah. those guys. You know, it's easy to prime kill them. Well... And meanwhile, free free, no escape in the primal roar. Now CCNC chasing onto him. He can't run quick enough, especially with the track on him. More gold, says EG, and they'll take it. And that's a bounty hunter kill right there. This was a ward placed by bounty hunter, and that was a bounty hunter just like coming in here, spotting both the uh, Tusk and the Omni Knight rotating in that direction. So RTZ leaves, and they all just actually goes top against Pycat. This is overly bold, but Sumel is here. Oh, the cooldown comes out, though. I'm not sure they can kill him off quick enough before he gets the kill on RTZ. They're spreading the damage, and just in time. Free Free barely staying alive. Now RTZ is picking out. He's like, what the hell's going on? Who's here? It's your former master, BBD. Start interruption, RTZ. He hasn't got the blink available. PBD making sure of that. And now PBD forced away. Meanwhile, the primer on the back foot. They does fight C and C and C. And now he's a little bit of trouble. Oh, he's trying to move somewhere quick enough, but he can't. Uh, oh, back the to the gyro. There again. Cool down. Tinker, no escape. Back I to Sumail. <laughs> oh, no. Crit. Oh, Sumail's going again. Or rather, being gone on to. Meanwhile, the dream call does come out to Pycat. They say, stay here. Don't let Sumail die. He needs to live. But he won't be able to. Zai just waved for that pure kick. He doesn't get charged. Look at the damage coming out from... Oh, Zai. Guardian Angel right at the end to stay alive. Well, as you were saying about our man, Misery. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he spotted out with the dust. He's going to run away real quick here. The snowball coming across. Can't run quick enough, though. Ice shards. Purification. A nuke and punch. And just to make sure you're dead. This is the issue about the Razor. Now he's starting to level up and dumb step with Curry Moose too quick and crit. He gets the silence. He does get the dream call on just Zai. And there's the BKB by Fear. The primal roar coming out on the side. Trying to melt for him. They already get rid of Free Free. Now Zai next on the hit list. Double kill for Fear. Chasing on for more. But they're already just running for the high heels on the side of Optic. He needs a Yules. He needs a BKB. He needs something right now. I mean, he can be enabled somewhat by Zai, but oh, there's the movement in the silence. Straight away, see, see, if he does get his arm off, the repel already used on him. Now, Free Free already dying off, and now that comes the cooldown. But Fear, he's already a backline. Guardian Angel does go up. PBD riding for the high hills. Peter, 
He can't make it out. Fear gets a kill. The rest of them will escape, but you get nothing in return. And now the side of EG Dick just goes straight back in. Let's chase it for more. Zai, he's repelled up, but gets caught by the Dream Call. Same as CNC. Double kill for Fear. Now Pycat tries to turn on Fear. Can he kill him off quick enough? The heal bomb making sure it is the case, but Pycat, he will be dead soon after. Tries to move away. Can't. Sumail gets the final hit. Chase through on his side. Looks like he's going to get low. They just need to finish this. The Axes will do it. Double kill for Sumail. And 3-3, free, free. this is bold. He's got the magnetized, but he won't get a chance to prime a raw triple kill for Sumail. Just dodging out optic. They're trying to pull them oh, in with the creeps this... and it almost worked. Yeah, it's a perfect position as well because I don't think Optic exactly expect this right now. Not oh, they definitely don't. As well. And now, CCNC is a little bit far forward. There's a jump in. The Primal Roar goes out. Zai, they control him up. He won't get a chance to do anything. He's just staying alive because of Snowball right now. They're falling back on this. Zai trying to stay in. This gets a pure of Cage. Not the chasing out. But Pycat, he's already there. Free Free rolls out to safety. But Fear, double kill already. And now Free Free, what else is that safety? You've got none. Fear gets a triple kill. And CCNC, he barely gets out alive. PBD will be able to run for the high hills, but fear, he's so done chasing. They're invading Optic. here, but yeah, that, but they're oh gonna God, run what straight into EG. That EG already is. waiting. Well, Arteezy says, I got full vision on you guys. Puck moving forward right now. Does have the dream call. Wants an opportunity. And oh, look at the damage being done. They try to jump across on Arteezy. He's too deep now. And they'll turn straight on to Sumail. The damage is being done on the back lane. Or the back line, rather. Fear just runs straight in. Melts through. Double kill for Arteezy already. Sumail staying alive. Zai, he needs to move quickly. Pike out already dead. Zai, he can't make it out. Double kill for Fear again. And well, free, free. He says, hell no, I'm getting out of here. I'm pretty sure it's one of those games anyway. where we're just going to beat KB Rapier and YOLOing. If yeah, it's the only way kind of misery. They spawn him out. This will be a nice start to it. But look, everyone here. Sumail, Primal Roar Strand and PBD to kill him off. There's the cooldown. CCNC actually getting a decent amount of damage him because they can't find the kill onto him. CCNC down to half HP. Sumail getting pretty low. RTZ being chased onto. Doesn't have the mana to return around onto them. And meanwhile, Crit finds the kill on Zai. With the assistance of fear, and they split up the fight. They even find another one. CCNC tries to run away. Look at the help on Sumail. Even more time. Free free dies too. That's good. And game. GG yeah. called. They finally tap out. That was but one of the best initiations they could hope for, and that's what the yeah. fight turns out like. So fear is going to be taking that vengeful spirit. And of course, we already anticipated Artizi being on the Medusa. Oh, Sumail already right in there mid Max too. Expansion. CCNC is real low. Oh, CNC barely getting away there actually. Although the bounty did reveal himself, so it allowed him to bring well, the courier out. Zai had a similar issue in the top lane, barely escaping. And there it is in the box. You melt, he gets killed off. Every lane. <laughs> do you get? The, do you ever get the feeling we're heading for another bloodbath? Need level two on the ancient apparition. And oh, Pycat, no escape for him. Misery gets the kill now. Sumel and Misery here. They should be able to actually fight this out. But you don't have to leave along with Free Free. Free Free getting pretty low there. We'll go for the lift back on the Misery. Not too much damage. Nice ice shards, but. You haven't got enough damage here. And every time, look like that moment Tusk tries to just turn and get a hit out. Beat loses three times the HP. And oh, Beat again low here, trying to bait the only level one on Pycat, though. Oh, Sumail. Just about getting away. Same with PBD. And yep, there's the kill. Sumail does actually end up dying off in the end. Pycat, he says level one. He finally managed to get his hands on level two. Which was going to be crucial here. I mean, that kill would have been much cleaner with the Lucent Beam. And oh, oh speaking of clean misery. kills, Misery. They did slap down the sentry and Peter <laughs> barely surviving there. Yeah, Sumail can't makes sense. play without oh, him. Oh, Sumail. He's stuck here, trying to chase on the free free. He'll have to turn around. Oh, the shuriken toss not enough. Peter getting pretty low. Can actually kill him off the very far. There's the kill. The axe has come back, but the owner's already dead. And Pycat getting pretty low here. But look at that. The fate bolt plus the loosened beam. Double kill for Pycat. Oh, and they're going in. Looks like DP. She's not going to escape. Now Sumail, he's going to get trapped in the top lane. No escape for him. The snowball in. All these spiders. Going to try and at least farm them up. Get a few of them, but does die off. Crit, They're going to create pressure down here the nope. top. They see Fear. Jump straight in. Well, there's a cold feet. But CCNC is actually going to get frozen up here on the spot. They even stunned to make sure. But Fear, melting up, and so is Crit. Two quick kills. Yeah, and there. Sets up for something better like oh. this. Yep, they jump straight in. The ice shots are there. Now Sumel, no escape for him. He put up the primal roar. Can he actually get away in time? He might be able to. But he's being chased after by Sai. No one coming to help him. Sumel's screaming for some assistance here. Won't find it. Zai, he'll find the kill. Well, looks like they're going to get some payback in the mid lane. Because Fear come around the back. There's the ice blast straight out. CCNC disappears. And that's a bigger kill for them and all. Nice swap back. Free free. You're a little bit deep here. Beard's just going to melt free. That track, extra gold. Thank you very much, they say.
So the level 6 rotation from crit with the Ice Blast, very successful. Will it be 4, 3, 3 as well? No, they get spotted. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yep, they're going anyway. Sumel trapped again. He's the weak point for them. They keep looking for it. BPD will take a lot of damage. Got some kills. Looking better already. Well, Still no good use for the Stone Gaze yet. Oh, the Ice Blast coming on a free free. He'll just about dodge it out. Misery almost dead there. Fear wants to move in. RTZ already using the Stone Gaze. They're going to snowball up onto him, but the Gaze has already ended. CCNT needs to move away fast here. There's the kill. Thanks to the wave of terror. Giving so much damage to Mel with a double kill. Zai's coming Especially from behind. Oh, yes, he is. But Arteezy should be able to get rid of Mask and Mana's going. But he needs to be careful. He's already out of mana. They're chasing on further. And the track just trying to help Arteezy make his escape. Zai's running out of whips right now. He does have more he can throw down. And look at those axes. Oh, no. But the axes stolen. Use a return. And there's a swap back. They probably raw straight on Zai. He's cold feared up. They don't even finish him off just yet. They're so busy trying to get free free. Careful not to get greedy. But they do still get both. If they, you know, we talk about how many fights do you need to win. There is definitely a point where if they just win engagements like this, if they had exorcism available, you know, once again here, yeah. these buildings can't just be gone. And they are feeling a bit pressured from Optic. They're going high ground. But yeah, they're going straight in. There's no response just yet. They're punishing you. It's easy. doesn't have to get back. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's on the curve. Yep, he's got the TP. He's coming back right now. We don't want to lose matches with small mistakes. And, well, oh, okay, it doesn't have one, easy enough. Yeah, if he has to just hang around the bot lane and split push, and that means you're wholly reliant on Arteezy to hold this. If Arteezy gets dropped, they don't want to try for it. Uh, Fierce coming from behind. He's oh, got the Shadow Blade, too. They're going to have no idea. Oh, they do know. They well, have the ward down. Ah, Icebox nice. going to hit the pie cat. That's an easy kill for him. There it is. Gets rid of him first before he can even pop off his ult. And now he'll expend his life for it and slowly haunt his former captain on his way to the afterlife. And CCNC, no way to stop that. Primal Roar, though. There it is. They went until the last second just to give him false hope. I don't know if you can respond side of EG. Well, they're going to try. Buy back on Misery. They've got the, the Ice Blast. They need to get a good one here, though. Here's Invis. Do they have the detection? I don't well, see I don't any. I think they do. They need to be quick with this. They're going in. There's a swap in. Fear. He snatches it. Snatch. Now the stun coming out. Zai. He's melting too quick. He's down. Arteezy chasing on him all. But free free. He stole the mana shield in the meantime to keep himself alive. The track's on him as well. They'll get that kill. There's the final hit. Three quick takes. And they snatch the Aegis. He almost yeah. got caught. That was a close call. And, well, now speaking again, call Arteezy. They get him down the low ground. He does use the stone gaze in time, and now they need to walk away quickly. They're going to hold him in place in the meantime. Out comes the exorcism. Trying him out through him. Should be able to do it. Nope. They need more control, and the ice blast is coming in. This could hurt a lot. Free free. Gets caught out. Final click. Will it actually kill him off? He might just live the urn. Should take him out, in fact. And Arteezy's still going. They find two quick kills. Well, looks like EG are going to make him pay for this mistake. They're still without the death prop, and even when she's up, she doesn't have her exorcism available. So you're wholly relying on both the Broodmother and the Luna being up and ready to deal with this in time. You know they can't take your whole base because the tier 2 is still up, but... Well, they'll still take most of your base. Fear's still in the mid lane, just finishing that up, and now he's going to join up the team. You won't even have Brood up in time to respond to this. Yeah, EG are done. They are fine with taking a little bit of a risk here if that last melee asks. And, uh, why not? Let's go for the range too. Oh. Dusk gets forced to snowball up here, and oh. there's the primal roar. Pycat dead. Peter he needs to move away quick. Meanwhile, fear the double force stuff to get out of range of CCM. No, and he oversteps it a little bit. The ice blast following through. He's dead. Crit on a mega kill streak himself. And now the move for free free. He gets to steal the ice blast. They're not gonna let you keep that though. They run in, they get the kill, double kill. GG gets called. Optic tap out. EG completely slaughter their opponents in this best of three. Yeah, they really did. Ah, oh, it looks okay at the start.